Well, hello there, and welcome back to Seabrook Village. In this video, we are gonna tour the David Weekly home called the Kelvin. Does this video may look a little familiar to you because it looks just like the very first video that I did on the, for this channel in Seven Pines, also by David Weekly. I mean, these homes are pretty much the same. But, so anyway, if it looks familiar, that's why. But we are going to go ahead and tour the Kelvin today. It's got a, this home has three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, two car garage. However, you could build it with a three car and it has approximately 2,200 heated square feet. But here's where this model is a little bit different. It actually has an upstairs, kind of like a bonus apartment above the garage and it has its own entrance. So somebody could come in and out of that apartment without coming through the home. So we're gonna tour the whole thing. So the base price for the Kelvin is $614,000. That doesn't mean you're gonna get it for $614,000 though. What it means is, is that's the base price. We don't have the lot, we don't have the upgrades, we don't have any of that other stuff on it. So they have a similar home to this one that's listed for $835,000, but it also has the upstairs bonus. The upstairs bonus room, the upstairs bonus apartment, the way it's configured, adds about 680 heated square feet. It has a price tag of about $99,000. So. When we talk about money, keep in mind, you have to consider incentives and we negotiate and stuff like that. So it's not set in stone. And I can't talk about that stuff on here because it changes. So the best way to find out the up-to-date incentives is to give us a call. And sometimes they're pretty mind blowing. You'd be surprised. But anyway, with all that out of the way, let's go check out the Kelvin. Okie dokie, here we go. And they are working on the neighborhood park behind this. So I apologize if you hear all the construction noise why I'm actually doing my intro for these videos inside the house. All right. So here we go. And this is a big open flex area. If most people would probably enclose it. I like what they did though. They put a, uh, that's like a dog bed right there. There you go. And then you've got your little office with a massive TV two feet from your head. And those things always freak me out because I'm not expecting to see a dog. And now I'm used to it. But when they first started putting those in the homes, it kind of weirded me out. All right, so we come over here, we make a right. This is kind of cool because you have what would typically be the kids' rooms in most houses. And this does have a full walk-in closet. There you go. But then it has like a little, like a living room, which I think is pretty cool. Apparently it belongs to Kinsley and Owen. That's the name up above. I wonder if that's the builder's, uh, or somebody's kid's names. Okay, that's kind of festive, cute. What do you think of the color scheme in there? Throw a comment down below, be kind of curious. And we have the, uh, the other secondary bedroom with constellations up on the ceiling. So which one do you like better? Do you like the baseball one from their other model, the baseball ceiling, or do you like the constellation? Which one would you do? Which one do you think your kid would want you to do? Throw a comment down below, be kind of curious. All right, let's keep right on walking. So we come here, we've got the uh, laundry room. There you go. For the size of the home, it's actually a pretty nice one. You've got your washer dryer, you've got up here. You've got a decent sized quartz countertop here for, um, for folding laundry. Uh, the only thing I would do differently, and I know it's a model and that's why they do it, but I think most people would actually want cabinets because up above there would obviously be your uh, you know, your chemical stuff like that. I don't think you really want uh, everybody to see that, so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you when you walk into the living area what you got. You got a really high ceiling, which is nice. You get one of those huge fans. And you've got, I think it's a nice kitchen. I like that color. You've got your uh, oven, microwave. There you go. Now, do you like this this way or would you want it horizontal? I don't know. It makes it look taller, I guess, that way. I think I would like horizontal, but it does look beautiful either way. 
of course that vents out because you have a uh, gas burner. And it's a really nice open area. Lots of light, lots of uh, windows. All right, so I'm gonna do the outdoor living area and then the apartment next. But first, let's go into the owner's retreat. It was known as the master bedroom. There you go, looks nice. It's kind of nice too, because you're not looking, you know, you're looking on your lanai and then of course you've got plants on the other side, so that's kind of cool. It's a good sized bedroom. And here we go. Decent sized closet. The only thing is too, my uh, my videos do the closets no justice. Nothing you can do about that. It's a nice little shower head, so they've got, that they just put that there, it's not built in. And, it's cool. All right. So now we're gonna check out the uh, the outdoor living area, and that's one of the nice things with the rear loading homes, meaning the garage is behind the home. The, the living area is not the, all the way in the back of the house because you don't have a true backyard. It's kind of in the middle of it, and some people like that. Like you can open up these sliders here. Um, you know, if this was all screened in, of course. And you know, you can just kind of enjoy the flow back and forth. It's really nice, have like a summer kitchen out here. And of course, this one also does have the uh, upstairs bonus apartment that we're about to go check out. But yeah, if all you're looking to do is just, you know, just watch uh, model tours on YouTube, that's great. And we appreciate you being here. So go ahead and like and subscribe. However, if you're looking to make a transition, maybe you're looking to move to Nocatee, Seven Pines, Silverleaf, or any one of the other communities here, but you don't, but you know, you want a partner. You want a real estate agent who's gonna be here for you, is gonna show you and help you with the ins and the outs of the new construction, resales, building a custom home on a private lot, whatever it is you may need, our team and I have experience doing it and we would love to partner with you. So give us a call, shoot us a text. It's chances are it'll be me that you're dealing with or it'll be a member of my team that I have personally selected and trained and I feel fully confident. And even if that's the case, I'll still be involved in a transaction and we'll still, um, I'm still here to help you. And again, we are your partner in all of this. So everything from uh, keeping an eye on the build while, it's, uh, while you're out of town, if that's the case, we usually come by and take photos for our buyers and just give them uh, weekly or updates, however often is needed. Uh, we also have a full Rolodex. If you're my age, you know what that is. <laughs> full of trusted professionals. So it could be anything that you need. We found all kinds of crazy things that you wouldn't even think a real estate agent would have, but we have deep, age, deep connections to the community. So no matter what it is that you need, we probably have someone that does it and we will definitely love to put our services to work for you. And yeah, so give us a call, shoot us a text, and we'd be more than happy to chat with you all out of the way, let's go check out the outdoor living area. All right. So again, we're outside. If you hear a lot of noise, I apologize. I'll make it as fast as I can because I don't hear anything right now. All right, so here is the kind of the outdoor. There, now to get to the garage, you'd have to go through that door. I don't know if that's a person's office or not. I haven't been in this one yet. They've got Christmas lights up there, the white lights, that's pretty cool. And yeah, the only thing I would do with this is I might hang like ceiling fans up there and then screen this in. If this were my house, I would actually definitely do that. Um, see if they got a gas line out here. I don't see one. It's kind of cool they got the green egg. Yep, no, oh, yep, there it is. So they always got one. So I point this out in my other videos, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. But that is a gas hook up there. So what I would do here is I would put like a, um, a summer kitchen. So you can have like a barbecue grill, a sink, a little beer fridge. Some of the model tours that we go into have um, like beer taps, which I probably wouldn't do that because then I would drink too much and gain all my weight back. So I don't want to do that. But all right, so here we are. We're out here in a little courtyard. We're going to go up and check out this apartment. So again, that this does not come with but it does add about 680 heated square feet to the home. And ballpark, you're looking at right around 100 grand to add this to your house. Most people wouldn't want it. 
but there are people who do, and so it is here for you. Okay, so here, oh, that's nice. So, oh wow, this one does have a, that's interesting. So this one does have a full kitchen. I've never seen one of these little suites that had a full kitchen in it because it changes the zoning. It turns it into like a, uh, like a duplex. So usually it's like a kitchenette, but now this is a full kitchen. All right. So yeah, if you're looking for a home, maybe you have someone who lives with you, you want them in your home, but not quite in your home, this could be a good option. So definitely let us know, give us a call and we can help you with that. Yeah, it's got its own little, little bedroom over here, kind of. Uh, most people probably put a TV there. And here's the bathroom. What I've seen a similar setup, um, I've seen people use this upstairs as like an office. So if you work from home, but you don't really want to work from home, <laughs> you know, you want to kind of like, okay, when, when I go up the stairs, I'm at work, you know, don't, uh, don't call, text me and say the dog needs to go out or the laundry needs to be done or something. Um, I've also have seen where they do this as like a kid's like study area. So people who homeschool, uh, usually they'll have a designated place in the house where when the kids are in that place, then they're in school. And when they're out of it, they're not at school or like an arts and crafts. So I've seen people use it as like a upstairs kids room too. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And like I said, if you like the other part of the house, but you don't want this, that's fine. This is an upgrade. It's not something that comes standard. But yeah, so what did you think of the Kelvin? Uh, throw your comments down below. I'd love to hear. If you have uh, any questions for me, the phone number's below. You can shoot me a text, give me a phone call, whatever works best for you. And yeah, I appreciate your time. So thank you again. My name is Andrew Michael, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.